I'd like to welcome everybody here today to the Brattleboro Select Board meeting room. Uh, welcome Governor Shumlin and uh, everybody who's in attendance. We are very pleased to be able to sponsor and to host this uh, Vermont Community Development Program uh, uh, award ceremony. And without anything further, Governor Shumlin. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thanks for the great work you're doing on behalf of Brattleboro. It's great to be here. And uh, we have a number of le legislators, two extraordinary legislators here, uh, Molly Burke and Val Stewart. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for all your great work in helping us make this possible. Uh, I, I also want to, before we say a few words about the grants, uh, want to acknowledge a few of the folks that we would be lost without. Uh, needless to say, to have Connie Snow and her team here from Wyndham Windsor Housing Trust, and I know there's bar uh, board members here uh, and others. Let's give them and their staff a huge hand for the extraordinary job they're doing. <laughs> Connie and her team get it right every time. And uh, I, I, it's a little incestuous. My brother chaired that board till recently. And I want to thank you for babysitting him as well. <laughs> um, also, to the BDCC crowd, I, I don't know if uh, Pat's coming, but I know she wants to if she's not here. But we're lucky to have Pat Bolton Powden down here. Uh, she's the only person that I would tolerate having been stolen from, which she was stolen from me. But if it's for Brattleboro and for Wyndham County Economic Development, I'm all for it. So I'm glad that she's here. And my team from uh, Economic Development, Housing, Community Affairs, my first, my Deputy Commissioner, Jen Holler, who does an extraordinary job. Thank you, Jen, for coming down. Josh Hanford and Nate Cleveland as well. Thanks for the great job you're doing for housing across the state of Vermont. And also to the town of Brattleboro, to the entire team. I know we got a lot of st uh, folks, not only select board members, but staffers and folks who make this town hum. And uh, even one of the little baby Richard boys is here. And I got to say, what's, what's happening in Brattleboro, uh, what's happening down at Brooks House, we've got some great momentum and we're going to keep it going. Helping in that effort, obviously, is our goal to assure that we have affordable housing for Vermont. And as you know, we're proud to be the state that has the fifth lowest unemployment rate in America right now. Uh, we're making real progress on the jobs front, coming out of the roughest recession in American history. Uh, it's been a challenging time, but things are picking up. And one of the things that helps to prime the pump and helps Vermont immensely is the fact that I believe that we are getting housing, affordable housing, right, which helps to grow jobs and economic opportunities for all Vermonters. And we're doing it than any, better than any of the other 49 states, in my judgment. None of that would be possible without the congressional delegation that supports the dollars that we're about to announce. And I just want to say how grateful I am uh, to be the governor of the state that has the best congressional delegation in America, as my uh, state police officer, Todd Hayes, often reminds me, uh, Senator Leahy, Senator Sanders, and Congressman Welch. I know that Sam Haskins is here on behalf of Senator Sanders. Sam, thanks so much for joining us. I know the senator would be here if he weren't slaying alligators in DC. Uh, I, I know that Chris Saunders, is Chris here? Chris, thank you so much for being here uh, as well on behalf of Senator Leahy. I was with St. Patrick yesterday up at uh, the Air Base, Vermont National Guard, celebrating the, the announcement there. And I know we had to get back to Washington to go back to work, but thanks for joining us. And also to Congressman Peter Welch. I don't think he has anyone here, does he? But he would if he could. So thanks to all of them for making this possible. Today we're going to announce uh, a number of grants that are extraordinarily important in the housing effort. The first is uh, a grant of a million dollars, a million dollars to the town of Brattleboro, the town of Brattleboro uh, and the Wyndham and Windsor Housing Trust that's going to help us to build, take existing housing for low-income and moderate-income Vermonters, Wyndham Countyites, Brattleboroites, and do three things well. Energy efficiency improvements, financial uh, counseling to ensure that we can keep people in their homes when they're having tough times. As you know, we're having a tremendous challenge with homelessness in Vermont. And it's much cheaper and much better investment. 
and a much more humane approach to ensure that we're doing the financial counseling and the intervention to keep people in their homes uh, than the dire alternative of having them removed from their homes because they can't make ends meet, ending up homeless and obviously in a terrible situation that, uh, that is a real challenge for all of us. And the third part is home repairs that make, take our older home housing stock and make it more livable, uh, warmer, and better for the future. So I want to give a big hand to the, to the town of Brattleboro, to the Windham and Windsor County uh, Land Trust for their extraordinary work. I think we've got a million bucks for you. So you're going to pass it out. Come on up. And let's do it. Bring up, come on up. We need board members. When we had the opportunity to co-sponsor this grant application with the Windsor, Windham, Windsor Housing Trust, we jumped at the opportunity. Um, the land trust has been with us for over 25 years now, and this revolving loan fund doesn't only provide for uh, housing that's owned by the land trust, but rather allows people to stay in their homes and to make sure that those homes are safe and affordable and energy efficient. And so when we had the chance uh, to co-sponsor, uh, we uh, jumped at that and I want to introduce Connie uh, from the Land Trust to uh, speak as well. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thanks. Thank you very much, David and Governor Shumlin. I want to first thank Governor Shumlin for uh, for putting the housing needs of Vermonters front and center in his administration through this critical program and also through the Vermont Housing and Conservation Board. So thank you so much. Um, in partnership with the town of Brattleboro and we'll announce in a few minutes also the town of Wilmington, uh, the two ventures being funded today I think demonstrate the breadth of our effort to support not only the well-being of local citizens but also the health and vibrancy of the, of, of the communities of southeastern Vermont. In Wilmington, a seven apartment Main Street property we've owned for the last almost 17 years will get a top to bottom renovation and including critical energy upgrades such as solar panels and a pellet boiler which will help us keep the apartments affordable. And the block grant today will leverage twice the amount in private investment as well as federal funds to accomplish the upgrades and a historic Main Street property will be uh, preserved uh, in a town still recovering and continue to uh, uh, provide affordable housing opportunities for local citizens so we're thrilled about that and with the town of Brattleboro we're recapitalizing our rehabilitation loan fund program which are low-cost loans for home repairs for um, as well as construction oversight services for homeowners in a two-county region over the last seven years, we've provided these loans to over 200 homeowners in 41 towns in our region. <coughs> we've drilled wells for people lacking adequate water. We've replaced roofs, installed high efficiency furnaces, installed ramps and elevators to improve home access. We're often able to address comprehensive needs of a homeowner. Uh, not long ago, we got a call from a woman who had been widowed and she needed a roof and wiring. And when she met with our housing counselor, we realized that she couldn't really afford her mortgage payment. So we helped her to refinance the mortgage. We applied for grant money from rural development uh, so that we could do the wiring work. We made a low cost loan for the roof and then we helped her complete the rehab project. So she's now in a sustainable housing situation, which is always our goal. So all of these improvements help owners remain in their homes and they keep the homes in our community safe and well-maintained. So we feel this program hits a home run. Thank you so much to the support, for your support today, which allows us to continue this good work. Um, so I do want to thank uh, Scott Murphy in the town of Wilmington, Patrick Moreland, David Gartenstein, Kim Ellison in the town of Brattleboro, my staff, which is sitting, many, a few of whom are sitting out here. Um, um, and also our thanks to everyone at the Vermont Community Development Program for your support and your great work. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Connie. Town of Wilmington. Who's here from the Town of Wilmington? All right. So Town of Wilmington, as you know, has had extraordinary challenges. Uh, and I 
would argue is one of the towns that has proven that we are Vermont strong and recovered from Irene, continuing to recover, but put together a coalition of private-public partnership, good old Vermont grit and hard work and spirit that's brought a town from the rubble back to an extraordinarily bright future. And it's really been an, a really amazing story, a real community effort, and uh, it makes me proud to be the governor of the town of Wilmington. Today we're announcing, uh, as Connie mentioned, a $271,000 grant that's going to do a couple of things. Uh, most importantly, it's going to help improve, as Connie mentioned, seven existing affordable housing units at Letary House on Main Street. And as you know, Main Street was hard hit. It's a big deal, and uh, so it's a pleasure to be able to present $271,000 uh, for that project. Governor has done for us in our, in our efforts for recovery. Uh, it's been a long road. Uh, we just recently finished our last infrastructure improvements in the town, and so now our major focus is economic development, uh, growing again, and um, certainly uh, housing is a big need. So uh, I just want to give a big uh, thank you to the uh, staff at the Vermont Community Development Program. Uh, Nate Cleveland's been a big help. And Josh Hanford, of course, is always there to help us whenever we need help. And Isaac Wagner is the one who did the carrying the heavy load of this, this grant uh, application. So thank you to Isaac. So, thank you. And last but not least, we're announcing today a grant of $30,000 to the great town of Thetford, Windsor County. Who's here from Thetford? Come on up. Uh, this is a grant that's going to be administered through the Town Pines Housing Trust, Twin Pines, sorry. Twin Pines has done some extraordinary work uh, in Windsor County. And basically it's for a feasibility study to look at affordable housing, which is desperately, desperately needed in Windsor County, in this case, directed at Thetford. So congratulations to the team. We're glad to have you here. Hi, I'm, I'm Tig Tillinghouse from the Town Select Board and just want to say that in, in Thetford there's been such a persistent enthusiasm for this. I was just doing the math and figured out that more than 2% of our population has been on the Senior Affordable Housing Committee or the Thetford Elder Network in the last few years. Um, those two committees represented here by Heinz um, uh, have been a real grassroots effort to push this and we're very excited to have these funds that enable us to now take this and make it a multiplier. Um, I also want to thank the Twin Pines folks without whom we could not do this and also a new group, the On Pompanusic Community Trust, which is helping us with the financial stuff represented by Manny Gruel over here and he, he might just very briefly describe what we're up to. Take it away. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, actually, we located a very good place, 2.9 acres in East Thetford Mill and uh, we looked at the criteria and missed all the criteria and the project actually involves the feasibility studies which will involve topographical studies first and delineation of the wetland, plus the, we will hire an architect and go over the project and see the viability, how many units we can put. And actually Twin Pine is our consultant and they're going to lead us and help us in each and every step of the way. And we are really excited about it. We have been waiting for over 10 years for this and town is excited about it. All the people are very much excited and I thank BCDP for the grant Governor Shumlan for uh, be so considerate to, to give us this money because without that we couldn't really move forward. So thanks again everybody including the Twin Pine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Go Thetford. So uh, I think that's it. Am I right Carolyn? Yes. Uh, yeah. It, uh, Sam or does any any Either Sanders or Leahy team, Chris, you want to say a word or two? Come on. We didn't want to make you drive all this way for nothing. I didn't drive. Take it away. I well, Chris is coming up, uh, and Sam's going to be shy and be unlike his boss and remain quiet. Uh, I just want to make this simple point, which Tig just alluded to. Not only is this extraordinarily important to economic development, to jobs, and to quality of life, 
quality housing for folks who otherwise wouldn't be able to live in quality housing. But it also, for every dollar that we spend that we're pa passing out today, it draws down an additional $8 in public-private partnerships that help make these projects happen. So that's a big deal. It's a huge job creator for Vermont. And uh, as I mentioned, it wouldn't happen without our congressional delegation. So thanks, Chris, for joining us on behalf of Senator Lee. It's a real treat to be here on behalf of the senator who uh, headed back to Washington this morning. Uh, he views the Community Development Block Grant as probably the prime federal resource uh, to help uh, low-income and moderate uh, Vermonters and, and help communities do things like build affordable housing. Uh, it's really no secret that uh, there's been some federal budget pressures and uh, that things are a little unclear about where we go from here down at D.C. Um, but that really just means that we need folks that are receiving these grants to be all the better stewards of, the, of these important uh, public funds. Uh, and I know the Senator has every confidence that uh, uh, Wyndham and Windsor Housing Trust and, and Twin Pines are going to be great stewards of, of these dollars and put them to great use. And we really look forward to uh, seeing the progress that you all make and making sure that Vermonters have uh, safe, affordable places to live. So uh, congratulations, and it's a treat to be here. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Sam Haskins from Senator Sanders' office. Governor. Thanks, Sam. Nice to see you. Congratulations to the three towns. Thank you for all the work that you've done to, for these grants. I know the senator would have loved to have been here himself. He uh, enjoys seeing these uh, things like this happen in communities, and it's very important that it does happen in these communities. Um, like Senator Leahy staff, these funds uh, have been cut recently in, in the uh, Congress, and it's harder and harder to get these uh, funds for these critical projects. And we know that Senator Leahy and Senator Sanders and, and Congressman Welch will continue to work as hard as they can to bring funds back to the state for projects like this. Congratulations to all of you again, and thank you very much. That's it, folks. We'd be happy to take questions if the press has any, or anyone else for that matter, but uh, otherwise we're out of your hair. So, God, I, I wish you all were the Montpelier Trust Corps. We would love to have you. <laughs> There's refreshments back there. Let's give it up to all the folks in this room and who couldn't make it here today who are making all these projects possible. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs>